In today's video, I'm going to survive over 100 days in modded Minecraft Hardcore. Let's go. Folks, this is not vanilla hardcore. This is much more. We gotta do the, the, the beginning Minecraft thing. Now that we have our logs, it's time to make a starter pickaxe. Badoop, shaboop. Now we have to go find ourselves a source of cobblestone. Oh, look at that. Look at all the atmosphere. Oh, hey, <laughs> sorry. I was uh, getting a little distracted by looking at all these new leaves. Look, we got a red, we got some yellow. Oh, this is unbelievable. Like it'd be unbelievable if you would press that now white subscribe button and hit that notification bell legitimately. Look at how beautiful this biome is. Will this be my future living biome? Probably not, but it does look pretty dang good, but now I need to go find myself a way out of here because I need a cave so we can get some armor and ooh, a duck. Ooh, look, because of Croptopia, the mod that gives you uh, expansions and farms, we can go and get ourselves a lot of basic food that we can grow and then turn into better food. Kind of like how the Legend of Zelda game, uh, Breath of the Wild, gives you the ability, as you grab a bunch of foods, to make cooked foods, which give you better abilities. Even like, let's say, stuff a beacon or a golden apple in regular Minecraft would give you. So that is really cool. So as I'm going around looking for a cave, we sh I should really grab some of this stuff so we have some basic materials, like a tomato. Okay, it's becoming night. I am making myself a little bit of a hobbit hole so we can survive the first night. I am, I don't have the materials to battle at the moment. Okay, I've been looking through this little book, uh, Biompedia, that it gives us when you start up this world, and I've been looking at the biomes that the Biomes You'll Go pack includes, and I'm really liking a mixture of the Canadian Shield here and the cherry blossom. I remember the cherry blossom from Better Minecraft. I want that. We're gonna have to see, but there's some like Chica Woods is really good, Canadian Shield. There's so many, like that one's a cool one living because of the color of the grass. So cool. Oh, sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. <laughs> succulents. I like succulents. In real life, those are actually my favorite plants to, <laughs> to, to, to raise. So yeah, I'm gonna become the succulent king. On the hunt for another white wool. Look at this biome. I like the way it looks. I'm not a, the biggest fan of the blue logs there. But if we can get something like, not blue logs, but if we can build here, this is like a really good looking building area. Also, sorry, sir. My bed now. What is that over in the corner? Well, never mind that for a second. We updated to an iron pickaxe. Let's go. What in the world? Okay, I stand correct. You apparently can build with this stuff. Oh, I like that. Is this another village? Whoa, you look dapper, my son. I am never going to say that like that again. Well, what do we have in here? Ooh, compasses. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, yeah. A lot of wood in this back also has a custom look. Oh, that's great. Ooh, that's good. We have a source for food. But it really seems like a lot of these villages are uh, a little messed up, to say the least. Dude, this freaking mod has better vanilla <laughs> building skills than I do. What in the world? Look at how pretty this is. I think we have to live here. Maybe not this specific village. Oh my lord. Also, we have ourselves a temple. I say we raid it. What was that sound? Oh no. Are you sure about that? Never mind. Uh, I am not taking that on. Yeah, I think we're definitely living here now. I just have to go to a cave and get some materials. Okay, I'm down in a cave. 
think there's a skeleton over there. There's iron over there. So we need to run for it and block ourselves off. Oh, he sees us. Hold it right there. I don't like that. I do not like that at all, but I do like this iron. Okay, so those are cave spiders. Oh, and he saw us. Okay. Oh, no, these are regular. Okay, I can deal with these guys. I just really don't like cave spiders. Hey, look, cool. <laughs> that works. <laughs> that works somewhat. Oh boy, oh boy. I almost died and I didn't record it. That That is wonderful, Beard Boy. I got most of this. I just have to get that guy over there. Yeah, you go down there. There's a creeper, though. Where's the creeper? What I'm worried about more right now. There's the creeper. Okay, okay. No. Will not. Cannot. No. Okay. Oh, and there's another creeper. Of course there is. And we alerted him. I, I would rather have the high ground here. Oh, that works. Okay, that works. Then there's a Mr. Skelly dude, which is who I'm personally more afraid of. I'd rather get rid of the threat entirely. I just don't know where he went. I think he went down there, but I just... Oh, I was going to block him off. Move. How about that? Them apples. Apples thems. You've been outsmarted by the beard boy. Ooh, and look. Amethyst geode. That's cool. Okay, now it's time to get to mining now that I have it a little bit more safe. Okay, outside of the generic iron everybody knows of, there's this silver ore that I know can be turned into armor. <laughs> it's just probably not the greatest armor, because I think since it gives you... Like, I've only got two, but I have four. So I'm thinking it's a little bit weaker than regular gear. We also have whatever this is over here. So first we have whatever that is. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. That I have to worry about, but I also want to see what this is. More kite. I think this is more of a lighting block. Right? Is it like a crystal? No. I don't know what this does, but it sounds pretty. Ooh, what are you? Oh, so you're also... Okay, I think this might also... Platinum. I don't know if there is a platinum... Let me just block myself off just in case something spawns. Uh, I am not done with hardcore. But if we go to here and type in platinum, let me just collapse that. Oh, uh, let's see here. Platinum. Oh, there it is. Can it be turned into anything? Turn into ingots. I know that. What? What is done with platinum? I don't think there is a purpose. Really? Okay, so we might be able to get some tools from whatever this ore is. I just looked at it. No armor, but it does give some tools when you mine it. So if we see it, I'll grab it. We have six right now, so I guess that means we can have a pickaxe, maybe? Mag uh, Magnesi? I think that's how you pronounce that. I think this actually might be something good. Okay, so it can be turned into an anvil. You can make a custom chest with it. Doesn't look like no specific armor. Yeah, I think it's made for the anvil, but it might be a special anvil if it only does that once in a while. So that's what I'm going to assume is that it's something we might need in the future. I haven't looked too much into the mythical metals, but I, I do like the mod pack. So we'll have to see how that goes. Best though, I'm taking some of this home. There's no way I'm letting this perfectly good building block just stay here. I would be crazy. Yeah, I think I've gotten enough and I don't want to deal with the witch and or creeper. Uh, yeah, I think it's time to skedaddle. Dude, this guy just won't leave me alone. Jeffrey, no. Come here. Don't freaking get out of my way. I'm trying to kill you. I told you, you're not allowed in these parts. Hey, look, it's Bob. What do you have here? Oh. Oh. Well, somebody's trades got updated. So anyway. Oops, I think they despawned. Okay, now that I've made it back, I'm going to start doing a little bit of smelting. And most importantly, it's going to be this raw silver and iron. Because I need to be ironed up. This, I've had too many close, close calls already. Okay, folks, we are all geared up, including our tools. Now I think we have enough to take this on. There was a, sh not a stray. I think that's what they're called, are strays. Are you sure about that? Uh, and he got us. Of course he did. Yeah, slowness, so... 
You gotta be careful about that. I am very iffy on this right now. Very, very iffy. Oh, jeez. Let's get out of here. That... Oh, that is not good. Okay. Okay. Okay, folks. We are starting on the starter base, and I decided to be a little different from everybody living here. And that is putting it right in the middle so everybody in this village can see. And doing it with a more darker build style. I think I could introduce these to this area and make it a project in the future as well. And that's give this area some... What's the word? Uh, difference in how it looks. So I want to grab some of these blocks put on the bottom. And then we're going to do calcite. And then the top's going to be that roof block that we uh, picked up. So, it's time to start the replay mod. Okay, folks, after a while, we finally got the starter house finished, which this came out pretty, pretty well, especially some parts I haven't shown you yet. So as we head on into here, we have it a little bit interred. Uh, right here is going to be a chest area of simples that we have our kind of essential like uh, crafting table, like built stuff to craft things here. Over here, we have our bed with a little bit of tables. And then when we come out here, oh. Yeah, this was already here, so I decided to build into it. And we have ourselves a garden. I love it. Folks, I have a big problem. I am dirt poor. And there's only one way to fix that, and that's to go mining for all the resources we need. That's not, that is no good. Okay, that should be enough to get us started. And we'll pick up some coal while we're out. Okay, I also picked up some spruce wood. That way, if we need to, we can craft in the caves at any point. Now it's time to go and actually find a cave. Ooh, I'll take this coal. This will come in handy. Ooh, and a little bit of iron too. This doesn't hurt, but this is, isn't is gonna be our actual cave. Yeah, I, I just found it on the side. While we're out, I wanna get a stack of any ore we can get. So when we go to ores, any of this ore that spawns naturally here in the overworld, I wanna see if we can get a stack or close to a stack. Okay, it looks like we got ourselves a decent entrance down there. Hopefully this goes decently well. There we go. Ooh, we already have some new ore that I haven't seen before. That's cool. Let's start lighting this sucker up. Pillow creeper. No. Oh. Oh. Ow. But what are you? Osmium ore. Cool. Osmium. If we do this, Osmi. No. There we go. Ooh, we can get some decent gear from this. Uh, plus two there, plus two. Ooh, so it's a little bit better than it looks like. It's very close to diamond, maybe? So that is cool. So we'll have to keep looking for that. And then, oh, look at how big this is going to be. Ah, oh, ha, ha, this is a good cave. Ooh, here's another creepy boy. There we go. He's defeated. Having a, especially in hardcore. Ooh, ow. In hardcore, it really comes in handy when you have items like a shield, especially for creepers and skellies, because, oh my, sometimes they will get pretty annoying. Speaking of that, I hear a skelly. I just don't know where he is. Hopefully we can maneuver him pretty well, but I'm going to pick up this iron because I would like to get a lot of iron. I want to do some redstone in this series, some really cool automatic builds, and we're going to need a lot of iron, redstone, stuff like that if we're going to do that. I would also like to grab a lot of this copper. I haven't really used it too much, 
In a previous Let's Play, I was gonna use it and I had grabbed so much of it, but I had never actually built with it. So I would like to try and build something with this this season. Well, looky there, one of our goals is already complete. Well over a stack of raw copper. I don't think I'm gonna mine any more for the rest of the episode, but we will come back. Ooh. It's just staring at me. There is so much. Okay, I'm, this is close to where I, my base is anyway. So if we have to, we'll come back for it. For now, I have a decent amount. There's so much more ore I want. Ooh, what do we have here? Pots that give us items. What does that one give us? Ash. I don't, I don't want ash. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, a little, a little e a pukey, a little uppy. Uh, no, thank you. I don't want ash. Oh, look, look, looky what we got over here. I'm pretty sure this is, uh, in the vanilla game, this is one of those dungeons that was gonna be developed but never got made and they just left it in the game like this ever since. Really cool to come across stuff like this. Also, we have so much loot over here. Oh. I wonder if there's a zombie spawner nearby? Because the here coming like crazy. Oh my lord. Okay, yeah, I, I don't think there's a zombie spawner, at least. Uh, and we have a lot of space to check out. Oh, I like this part of the cave. The lush cave. I wonder if we'll find an axolotl. And where do you guys keep coming from? Oh, we're getting, we're getting triple teamed. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. There is a problem. Just, there was just so many coming at me at once. Ooh boy, we found our first diamonds of the Let's Play. Oh, this is a good start to hardcore, all right. No more. Oh well, two diamonds is great, and also we have some gold. I like that, and then whatever is here. One, we have a mine shaft. I don't know if we're gonna mess with that too much. Pick whatever this is up. Carmont. Ooh, I remember this. I'm pretty sure this can be turned into gear. Uh, down here is gonna be risky. Yeah, we're... We'll come back to this. We, we don't have to do this right now. Uh, ooh, we got more of the uh, quadril... Quadril... Quadrillium. I am never gonna be able to pronounce that right. Ooh, we got more of this Morkite. I still do not know too much about what this does, but we'll figure it out so we can have something fun with it. Oh, boy. Ooh. So much coal. I'm not even joking. We're well past our goal for the coal. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that's two stacks. We are doing pretty well for ourselves, and we still have more to explore. Oh, this is this is so much fun. I am having a blast right now. Caving can be the best part of Minecraft a lot of the time, in my opinion, because it can be therapeutic, especially if you're being if you're doing it the safe way, which for the most part, I'd say I'm doing it the safe way. Also, because we have a lush cave, it looks like, I'm gonna look for a <laughs> axolotl bud, uh, if we can find one. They should spawn in any of these. So if there's a chance to find them, I'm gonna take the chance and uh, take one home. Oh, that's a good ore. That's a really good ore. Oh, and we need diamonds. Oh, okay, we need to save. We need to save you. Okay. We need to find one more diamond. We need a diamond pickaxe. That is really good ore. That is really good ore. That ore there, so if we look on here. Like, yeah, this doesn't look as amazing. But they're really good for the tools, which is the best part of them. So if we can find another diamond, we're going to be set. Okay, we're exploring this mine shaft a little bit. Mainly so we can find more diamonds. We can find more diamonds, we can go back to that ore that we just found, then we can mine it up. I really want the I really want that ore so bad. Oh we got it! There's our last diamond. Oh that's amazing. Oh and we have more morkite. Whoop bam. Look at that. Oh and there's so much here. Oh let's go. Oh, we got seven from that. That is good. I can't wait to get the gear from that. Oh, we found more. I think the armor for this isn't terrible, or not terrible, but it's actually pretty good. 
I think it's just mending. So we'll have to enchant it and it already is mending pre-installed, I think. Been a while since I've used this ore. We've got to have an axolotl friend here somewhere. There he is. That's the guy we've been looking for. Hey. Let's go. Oh, I've been waiting to find this guy. Mithril ore? This sounds cool. I think that's a really high ore, too. Run away. There he is. Thanks, aimbot. Love that you're on my side. Okay, we have more of this. Oh, I'm just called O Rich because the entire name just really is not easy to say. I haven't found more diamonds. It seems like in this, because of all of the ore that you're giving, it seems like it's just a lot more rare than it was previously, which is cool. I like the added challenge. We're gonna be so OP, because the more you go, the more down the depths, the more the, the thing you get. Okay, I think it's time for us to go home. We have a lot, and I mean a lot of loot, and I'm ready to go and upgrade as soon as we can. Okay, folks, we are now home. And oh my, we've got a lot to smell. Uh, we'll start the iron in there. Might as well put it right there, and I threw away our coal. Well, that's not fun, and it's probably despawned by now, which is a bad thing, but you just throw those in there. I really don't care. Such a dunce. I must have thought it was that stope stone, that black kind of stone that was down in that cave, and I must have threw it out thinking it was that. At least I didn't do that to any other ore. Okay, so we're going to need a blast furnace. So we just need three of these, which we'll do really quickly. Also, I was able to get 55. There's just so much coal in this world. I love that. I love that you're easily able to find coal. Excuse me? Did we just get a Granny Smith green apple? Well, isn't that just fun? I like it when mods do that. Why don't we have Granny Smiths in really regular Minecraft, right? Okay, folks, it's all smelted, and look how much ore we now have. I can officially say that, folks, we are no longer poor. Look at how much loot we have. And, yeah, y y you know I got this for the thumbnail. Okay, now it's time to start upgrading everything we have. So, we can upgrade our tools. We also can upgrade in terms of armor, so... Badoop. Is that... Oh, 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 that's so much better. Oh, my. Oh, look at that. We'll do helmet. He said you will do boots. I don't want to use it too much. That, yes, it doesn't match, but I'd rather be fully protected, which... Look at that. Full armor bar. Absolutely. Oh, if I can get out of there. Absolutely perfect. Ooh, and I have a little, like, flower thing on my head. Look at that. Ooh. And then I I don't know if this has any... Yeah, there's no, like, effects. But this has regrowth, which I think is a type of mending in a way. I'm not sure. We're going to have to go and enchant these eventually. And now it's time for the tools, which... Where's my sticks? There they are. Let's do that. Yeah. Do one of those. A sword. Push it out with the shovel. We are officially armored up and we're fully protected uh, outside of enchantments, which we do want to do that soon. So there's a lot of books around. And you got to remember, where is it? Right there. We have nine obsidians. So in the next episode, we could focus on trying to make a farm to get us fully enchanted. I would love to get these brought for everything if I could. I don't think, think I'm gonna be able to, but I would love to do that. Boy here, and I have a major problem. I have this great armor and tool set, but none of it is enchanted. My plan on those set materials is gonna be this. Dossite, calcite, and snow blocks. Cause I kinda wanna craft a skeleton on the outside. Docite can be used on the inside. And to show you guys what I mean by stray skeleton farm, as we head in here, there was spawners in here. So we can make a double spawner, which means this is going to be going away. So... Oh, 
Okay, now with this main layer down, I remember correctly, this should be four in between or five. So it is gonna be four. So one, two, three, about right there. Start mining down. I wanna make sure we have this four by four space. So we have one there, one, two, three, four. So right there, four, so right here, and then one right there. So this main spot is gonna be where this is gonna be. So I'm just gonna make a little bit, I'm gonna make a little bit of a box cube shape area to start off with. This way we have it kind of marked down where it is. Okay, with that built up, let me mind you about that level. We are gonna be going down three more. With the room filled, we are now just water sourcing it up. And the main goal is to be right here. Have a little bit of a drop down area right down there. Okay, we're down to this part. Now it's time to go 10 blocks down. Okay, that's gonna be 10. We go down one more so we can put some chests down. And we're gonna create ourselves a Are little you sure bit about of a that? room here. Okay, and now we have a second one. Now that that's built, it is time to show you what I have planned for the underneath. So, plop. What I'm gonna do basically is have these go out to a certain level. So, that one stops there, that one stops there. So, they'll all fall here. So, I'm gonna go down 10 from here because I want them to fall into these. So, one, two, three. And now that we're down here, I'm gonna go down one more, mainly so I can start placing these bad boys. So we're gonna make ourselves a little room out of here. We're gonna make it a big cubular shape. And then actually I'm gonna go down one more as well. I want as much room as I can in here. Okay, now that we have the main room done, what I'm gonna do here, where's my hoppers? There we go. Huh, and we're gonna start hoppering it down. So from right here, I want three there. And then we're gonna want, we have three hoppers three of these bad boys so we can hit them from here which means we're gonna have to extend these bad boys a little bit so bam bam we can mine these ones here and place those ones there yeah i want to have as many entities as i can get so having them here like this is going to be really convenient and then right under we can start placing chests so like that bam 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 if i throw these here okay i'm gonna have to break it for science okay it seems like it's working perfect so we'll grab those out of there, place that there. So this part should be done. We should be safe from any of those boys. And then if we have any need to expand here, what we'll do, we'll bring this guy out. And then if he needs to be emptied, maybe we do, we'll be good. I think what we'll do is just transfer them from this point. So we'll leave these ones here. So they should be open, good. Then we'll have a set here on the walls and we can just fill it up as we need them. And then we'll be able to make our way out, I think here maybe, this way it should work. Okay, now I'm just adding the roof to these and then they're gonna be 100% finished. Oh boy, you can hear it, they're already starting to spawn. Oh boy, the main exteriors are finished. Okay, let's head down there and see if this thing's working. Oh, let's go. This is great. We have our, our XP farm, and they can attack us. Oh, die. And they keep coming for the most part. And we're getting a source of bones, regular arrows, and slowness arrows, it seems like. Take the torches back. Oh, this is going to come so in handy. Okay, I've made myself a little spawning arrow because our area, mainly because I realized they weren't really spawning while we were down there. So I think this is gonna be one of those farms where we have to have our own spawning spot, which this will be fine. Now I'm gonna see how many we can get with like 10 minutes away. A few minutes later. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. oh yes. Oh, this is looking so well. Oh, there's so many. Just from that alone, so many bones, so many arrows. Oh, we have a perfect way to gain experience here now, folks. And some of it's not even making it in. That's the funny part. Oh, now it's time to go and design the look on the outside. Because I don't want it looking ugly. I want us to know that, yes, 
This is, in fact, the skeleton farm. So I got a basic shape here. I was gonna do the original skeleton head, but I don't have the materials for that. So we're gonna do a custom skeleton head from this shape. And I have a really good idea for this. Oh my God. I like how derpy this mouth is. I love how derpy that is. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is shape it to that, because obviously, in like a skeleton jaw, like a human jaw, it ha you have it like this, right? And then it goes up, and it's usually flash. But I'm gonna try to do this where it's going more this way, but I'm gonna try to have it go more curved in, and have this kind of be like some kind of fabled skeleton of, of some other year. Uh, <laughs> that's the plan. Oh my god, it's so derpy, I love it. Oh my <laughs> It's so derpy, I love it! Like, you have this all detail, and then just these small eyes here. Oh, I think I love it. I think I love how this is turning out. I'm, I'm keeping it. I'm gonna keep it like that. Unintentionally. It's staying like this. Oh, that's so funny, I love it. I love it. Do we have anything that could be like a pupil? I think we're not gonna do anything else. I think I like it the way it is. I think what I will do is expand a little bit of this out to, ooh, here. Preferably not with them on my back. Bring out the cheat bones a little bit. So that's what, from here, one, two, three, four, so an eight above that. So one, two, three. So it connects a bit better. I, I love that. <laughs> it's like a derpy dragon. I'm contemplating putting fire in its mouth, but then this is made out of snow. But we might have to keep it that way. This is the funniest thing I have ever seen. And I don't really have anything to put in the back, do I? You know what? These can be used for the background of the eyes. That'll work. I think this one here i'm gonna do one that's a skeleton and the other's gonna be like a statue kind of thing oh that makes it even better <laughs> i love it we have ourselves a skeleton head and he's super derpy and i love him and then this side here i was thinking maybe we make this one a little bit of a tribute to the skeleton's bow so, we're gonna need an example, just so we get this right. So, as you see here from this bow, it kind of goes a little curve there, so like one, two, I'd say three, so four, two, hey, come on, yeah, come on, I think it goes one each diagonally, so we could have this going Basically, I want to be able to see it from there, but I think it'll be best to curve it here. But well, we can have it like sunken into the ground, so. I think I really like that. Yes, we got this like cool freaking bow here. Now, whatever the heck that was. We're gonna call him Derpy the Dragon, because he kind of looks like a dragon. Or a bird. Anyway, I think he's hilarious, and we're gonna keep him like this. This is absolutely hilarious. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay, now it's finally time to go and enchant everything. Okay, never mind. We're gonna go mining really quick because apparently I don't have any diamonds. Ah, yes, diamonds. And I'm getting out of here because I don't want to die because I almost died to this lava. I'm just stealing the. I'm b b barring. I'm barring. Barring. Bar. Bar. Borrow. Bar. Bar. Okay, so apparently I can't speak. But I am just gonna forcefully, unintentionally take these. No. Yes. No. Yes. And how many we get there? 57? Hopefully that's not for a book. A bookshelf. 
but I need to go mine down some trees. Oh boy, I'm excited now. Wait, keep forgetting things. All right, bookshelves. There we go, that should be enough. And then the enchanting table. Oh boy, I think we're gonna set it here. I'll take you with me. But I think in here would be kind of cool. You right here, and then just all around. Level 28, so we just need a few more. There we go, level 30. Oh, that's fantastic. We'll start with our pickaxe and fortune three. Oh, a four, efficiency five or four and fortune three. That's really good. We're going to have to get unbreaking too. So, okay, we'll have to go next. So let's get these, these bad boys off. First thing to go on the chest plate, unbreaking. I'll take it. Thorns and unbreaking three. Not the greatest, but it's fine. Protection three. Okay. Okay, with more levels. Protection three. What about the boots? Depth Strider, unbreaking three. Okay, what about here? Efficiency, unbreaking is what I want on some of these. Sharpness would be good. Efficiency would be really good too. Okay, I'm gonna go and spend some time in our good old XP spawner because it works way too well. So we're gonna just AFK for like 20 minutes and see what that does for us. One eternity later. I am getting so many bones from this. I think I'm gonna take the efficiency on there. And fortune too, seriously. All right, after a stupid amount of hours trying to enchant and grind, get all the XP I needed. We are fully enchanted up. Protection three on the helmet. Thorn super uh, on breaking three on our chest plate. Protection three on our pants. Protection four, Depth Strider three on our boots. So we have pretty good gear. Not anything world breaking, but it's pretty good. On our sword, we have sharpness four, knockback two. Efficiency two, unbreaking two on our shovel. Efficiency 3, Fortune 2 on the axe, and then Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3, and wait, Efficiency 4, Fortune 3, and Unbreaking 3. That is a really good pickaxe, as well as a bow. We have Unbreaking 3, Power 3, and Flame, which, oh my, that's good. The day had a pretty good, and then over here, I'm liking this area right now. This is great. Okay, let's test out our bow. Oh, yes. Oh. Folks, I have a problem. Despite all the progress we have made in this world, we are starting to run out of room in our chests. Well, to begin, we're gonna need a mixture of things. We're gonna need supplies, so I think we're gonna need, we're gonna need supplies, so I think we're gonna need some wood. And it terms on which one we really want, and I think what I'm gonna do is build it this time, unlike my last time I built a storage room, or a massive storage building, I think we'll do a lot of the spruce here, instead of going for that entire, like, industrial kind of warehouse thing. So, I'm gonna get to chop. Okay, I just got a bunch of docite, which we're gonna use for the walls. Now I just gotta go find a place to build this bad boy. I think over here, will be the best spot, plus having a backdrop of massive pumpkins would just be amazing. Okay, I have myself a basic outline. I want this to be decently big, so I want to be able to walk through and have multiple sections on either side, while also having a way going down in the future, because how I'm going to expand this is that I'm going to go downward eventually, but I'm going to have my main level be here, and then maybe something up there off the seat but now i'm gonna start filling in the walls i think for once in my life i'm gonna use wooden supplies for the roof i don't usually do this but i don't know why something is compelling me today and who knows it might look better now that i got spruce stairs and spruce slabs i want to go and start working on the roof design yeah i think i really like that and especially in comparison to the white of the the dossite cobblestone which I think I might have some deep slate or something to make this a little bit more interesting to look at detail-wise, but we'll get to that when we get to that. I 
and now going into replay mod for the roof. back with y'all with a little update this is coming together but i ran out of wood this is i i thought i had enough of that uh, the wood but i'm oh i have underestimated so i'm gonna go get more wood Next on the agenda is really getting this over here built. So I'm gonna have an upstairs and a downstairs. We're gonna have an upstairs level of chests or barrels, while the below area here is just gonna be regular old chests. Okay, now that we got that situated, look at this. Go up here, we got some nice railings, and then we have some room for chests all around. I am loving it. Now it is time for me to start working on the floor. And there we go, we have the bottom floor done, and I'm liking that we have this kind of cobblestone brick. It might be better than stone brick, honestly. But now it is time to get enough wood 
start filling this entire thing full of chests. Now it's time to add the chest to the storage room. One eternity later. Oh boy, folks. I finally have it complete. Say hello to the storage warehouse. Complete with leaves everywhere because I like the overgrown look. But when we head in here... Oh, look at that. Now, it's not perfectly even because of that back wall. But it's enough where it's aesthetically pleasing besides this spot. I'm fine with this being open, so it's a little bit easier for those. But for the most part, this looks really good. And also, we have a little storage area down here that we can put stuff in. I don't have anything planned yet. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think could fit down there. And as we head up here, we have a second level with a little bit more storage. This one is even, luckily enough, and there is so much storage now that I don't think we have to worry for quite a while. And I've got a problem. Here in my hardcore world, we have almost everything we would need besides some of the most essential parts to a hardcore world. Totems, oven dying, and for rockets. Let's get started with the raid farm, and with the raid farm, we're gonna need a bed, two buckets of water, one bucket of lava, six chests, 11 signs, 35 slabs of any choice, and three hoppers. And this tutorial that this raid farm is from is from Mysticat, links in the description. And now that we got all the supplies, it's time to find ourselves our lucky little spot which we'll be able to have a modded area because we have an outpost but not just not just that a modded outpost so we get to see what that's like as well there it is that is the outpost that we need and i'm gonna build our little raid farm area over here i don't care about looking too nice because it's far away from our main area not too far it's walkable but i'm gonna build it here so i'm gonna start probably on this land here above these guys i know and i'm gonna see how i get okay to get this done properly i'm probably gonna have to build up not like that i'm probably gonna have to build up like this all the way over above these trees and above the hill so basically above those trees and make it a beeline straight over there but you see that tall tree we have to go a whole lot up in the air and then after that what i'm gonna do is two separate things so for this spot there's gonna be a powered rail and cart system that will go all the way up here when we get up there i'm just gonna transfer uh the villager into a boat because that will most likely be the easiest way out most likely uh because i don't know about you but i don't want to go mining for so much iron that i don't have so we're just gonna do this put him in a boat and take him all the way over till we get over there one eternity later much much later we have completed this tunnel slash pathway so we can bring this villager by boat over here now it's time to get all of this finally set up finally i have got him in the boat now it comes along an excruciating ride so you have a family phil tell me about that family phil i need to know about that family hey buddy this is your new home let's get you in so his home is over here here let's drop you down sir and then since you're gonna be on that side yep you should be stuck there now that's perfect It's time to go 27 blocks after I got this sucker built. Now it's time for the hopper system. Also, if you guys like to know where these arrows are coming in, because this kind of shows where it's being connected to, this isn't vanilla, this is uh, vanilla tweaks, which is a uh, texture pack that you, or texture that's an old term that doesn't get used actually anymore it is a resource pack that you can get at uh type in vanilla tweaks and it'll be like the top result this is a really cool pack and it's what gives me the rainbow in my xp bar
Okay, folks, the farm is complete. You know what I want to do now? I want to go make a pillager mad. Big mad. That's it. There's my guy. Let's go. Voluntary exile. So if we head over to here, quickly, quickly. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Okay, they're starting to make their way down here. Gotta wait for some, not really Ravagers. We don't care about those guys. I want some Vindicators. Give me a Vindicator. Oh boy. More here. Come on. I want a Vindicator. Give me a Vindicator. Oh, there it is. A totem. We finally have a totem. Oh, my. There's still more up there. Oh, this is a great day. Guys, the fact that we're at this point with a actual totem in hardcore. Oh, this took forever, but we got it. I'm just going to try to farm a couple more if I can. I'm going to have to lure him over here, and then I'm getting the heck out of here. I have 40 levels, and I have two totems on me, so hopefully no deaths. Are you sure about that? No, I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. We'll come and farm these another day. I'm, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. There's vexes everywhere. I need out. I need out of here. I need out of here. Where's my way? There's my way. I need to go home. I need to go home. Run, run, run. Oh my god. Well. Oh no. They're still following me. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna do a little of this and see if this works. Okay, that did work. Logging off the world. I think I've had enough of the farm today. I, I don't have any totems on me. We'll come back to farm more when we're better prepared. I There's no way I can hit those guys with just a sword. So I'm going all the way home. I'm healing up. And then we're going to make the other farms and finish today's episode. Oh, I'm so glad to be home. You don't... You have not believed the day I've had. I almost died for real, dude. Yeah, now that I know this does work, I'll come back here in the future once I'm more betterly prepared. Like, you know, having as many arrows as possible, because I think that's the only way you could defeat effects at this point. Besides that, uh, it works. It actually works. We got two totems out of that and then immediately popped them because I am not good at combat against effects. So this does work. So we'll have to come back to it here in the future. Right before the dragon fight, I'd say. And then we'll be able to use that to make ourselves a bit overpowered in the future. I might even upgrade it to a different design. We'll see. But this one does work. Okay, I spent some time. I went and crafted some new stuff because some of the stuff was starting to break. Mainly this, which is a good pickaxe. But apparently I literally just made the same pickaxe again, which is great. Also, we got this Ruinite Axe. I'm breaking three efficiency four. That's going to be really good. These are still good in comparison to that. And I also made a new pair of boots because I was about to break, and this is really good. Protection for Death Strider 3, Unbreaking 3. So that's going to last us a little while. Now I'm going to grab the materials. From what I know, I'm going to probably need a lot of iron, which probably means I need to go hit the mines really quick. So... Okay, for the Creeper Gunpowder form... I'm going to do something that's going to be a multiple of different things. Instead of just being Creeper, we're also going to have it be just a classic mob farm, mainly because I have no cats over here. And two, I don't have access to scaffolding, unfortunately. So most of the Creeper farms that are really good, I won't be able to properly do. But what I can do is make a mob drop farm Make a spawn area where we can go and AF, uh, AFK to. Probably put some ladders up there. And then, once that's done, once we get the Elytra, we won't have to worry about the ladders anymore. And we can just get our way up there. But till then, I need a lot of blocks to get up. So I'm probably going to have a dirt pillar maybe going up there or something for temporarily. But we're going to make a classic 
mob drop farm. So I'm gonna get my materials together and I'll meet you guys in the building area. Okay, we're gonna be starting the farm now and it's gonna be from someone that we've followed before, Voltrox. So I'm gonna start by digging a four little four block hole there. Bop, 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 bop. building and a little bit of XP with my bar down there as you see I, I have a bunch of books okay I, I wanted to go get some books but <laughs> we finally have this done and we even have a water elevator going up so it's not automatic it's just basic flowing water going up to the top level and then up there to the AFK platform they'll come down here instead of slabs I did fire uh, campfires uh, mainly because I thought this would be a better way of automatically killing them because I'm not here for the XP I'm here for the loot uh, They haven't spawned yet, but I haven't actually went up there uh, And look at this. I wanted to do a unique design not design but a unique kind of block placement on each one and I'm liking how it came out and then on the out uh, the top here Look at that it Even goes up there and then the top roof is also unique once we have a elytra, we'll be able to go up there and tear all of these down and we'll be able to have this just fully like it is, but for now it is temporary. Now, even though we only have three days left, we're going to build a sugarcane farm. It's going to go right here. Are you sure about that? So we might not be able to make this farm yet because I have no way of getting nether quartz. So we're going to have to wait till after the nether episode to actually build this sucker up. But we're really close to day 100 anyway, so I want to do some cleaning up. There we go. It is a lot better looking out here now without that dirt path. We're not going to need it again because for the most part, we should be able just to have that villager over at the raid farm. Okay, folks. It's time to lay down as we move to triple digits. Look at that. Day 100, baby. We finally did it. 100 days in hardcore Minecraft. Amazing. Now, I have plenty of other things. This video has taken a long, long while to produce, and a lot of it had to do with these farms. We have this big boy there. We have the other one over in that direction. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider subscribing because we're on the goal to 1,000 subscribers. And then 10,000. Consider liking the video because liking always helps. And comment down below what you thought of today's episode. I've been Beard Boy OG, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.